Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Blackly55 and this is a really quick tutorial on how I edit my DS videos and split both the screens. Now the very first thing I do is whatever I freaky use to record my DS, which is Bandicam usually, or sometimes I use Camtasia Studio 8, usually it's Bandicam though. And I just record both screens on the DS and then after that's done, what I do is I stop that video and I'll go here, I import, you go to import media and you import your videos. You import your voices, whether it's like music or all that other stuff. And that should be good. Now what you do first is you go to track one, you put down that you want size 1280 to 720. Because that's what YouTube uses. Click OK. And then you move that over. Now what you do is import it a second time. You import it twice, remember that. And you go here. What I'm going to do is make sure that the video is up to the point that I want it to be to. And then what I'm going to do is split both of these so that I get rid of that little extra beginning part that I always have in my videos. You see, I made that mistake before. But anyway, after that, usually the second track will have the bottom screen, which is what I do. So I move the bottom screen over here. Make sure it lines up with the yellow lines. Usually I like to make it like a little bit smaller because the bottom screen is not too important usually. I think that's a good size. And what I do is the top screen, I move over here and I stretch it all the way to fit the top and bottom first. That's the most important thing. Because fitting, I don't know why it's doing that. Because fitting this part is really important since this is where most of your game is anyway. Come on, fits. I think that's a good fit right there. Usually it's never going to be like 100% perfect, so this is as. This is pretty much as great as it's going to get. I think, think. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Alright. Sometimes I have OCD, but anyway. Next, you stretch it all the way here so that it fits and touches the screen. And then, usually, if you have like a sidebar stuff, which is kind of the point of this. You move the sidebar over here, and the sidebar can also be stretched. So, move that down there, squeeze it in, and there you go. And that's usually what I do with my videos. Usually I go over here, I right click my picture, which is the sidebar, and I switch the duration to something that's usually going to fit the video. 6,000 so that I don't have to literally stretch it all the way over there. And then, like, whenever I get to the end, then I could just, like, cut it off or add more, whichever I feel like doing. Or usually if someone dies, I'll go to that part, cut it off, and then bring in a whole new picture. It, it depends. It's not really too difficult. It just takes time. And next, I import the... I import my, um, my audio, which is about right here. I wait until my... Usually, I wait until, like... I get all three of them on track before I even do that part. But I'm just like doing a quick little rush tutorial showing you how I do it. And the randomizer nuts lock. Yeah. What's up everybody? This is Blackly55. Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuts Lock. And you see that's what I do. This is usually everything that's up here. And wow, I actually am not meaning to show you most of that. Actually no, that's the same episode I went up earlier today anyway. Well, whenever this video goes up, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> what I'm doing is, this is pretty much what I do. After that, you have everything set up, everything's all finished. Then you go to Produce and Share. My voice is so weird. I go to Custom Settings. I press Next. Make sure Windows Movie Maker is clicked. Next. Leave all this the same. Next. Leave that the same. Next. Next. And then what you do is, you put in whatever name you want, like I'm going to put in Tutorial. Like I'm going to just put that in just for that title. You press Finish. And then what it does is it renders out. Usually for like a 20, to, well I usually record like 25 minute videos or 30 minute videos. And it takes about an hour to finish rendering. So pretty much, it's, just, it's twice the amount of time that I spent recording. For me, Sony Vegas Pro, it takes forever for that to freaking render. 
Personally, that's just me. It takes forever to render, so I don't even bother with that. I'm going to cancel this because I don't need to really use that. No, don't, don't save that. And that's it. That's what I do to record my videos and split both my DS screens. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, leave a like and comment if this was helpful. If you still have questions, just ask me by message or comment below and I will help you out. This is Blackley55 and you're welcome. <laughs> I hope this was helpful.